a safety deposit box is international practice okay so because i've heard in the media people discussing we need to change the laws around these safety deposit boxes <laughs> well let me put it this way safety deposit boxes are an international thing it happens all over the world so if there's a problem surrounding them if kenyans have become so evil that we cannot have safety deposit boxes in banks then the issue is not the laws surrounding these safety deposit boxes the issue is the kenyans themselves now something else to do with this box and of course this has come up in social media and it's absolutely true this is a small box even the largest one is the size of a post office box yeah very rare actually yeah because what would you want to put in such a big box in a safety deposit box in a bank is a box ya kuweka mbuzi ya christmas yes this is a small box yeah to put vital valuable documents and perhaps jewelry those who watch movies may have seen people putting small revolvers inside these safety deposit uh, boxes and of course that is not allowed anywhere in the world yeah you're not supposed to put explosives or ammunition or stuff like that and these rules are there because the safety deposit box is not part of the bank it's not part of the bank deposits this is a private box almost like a post office box which banks uh, hire rent out to their clients to uh, to put in valuables you may fear that the risk of a fire at your residence is very high you know, or even theft and therefore use these uh, safety deposit boxes to deposit your title deeds for instance yeah and the whole idea is that you're protected yeah because even the bank employee is not allowed strictly not allowed to see what you've put inside there yeah that's the whole privacy thing surrounding these boxes of which the largest in the world is supposed to measure 10 inches by 10 inches and then 2 feet deep nothing more than that and therefore the first big question mark over this story is how did 20 million us dollars fit in a safety deposit box in a bank how it can't happen it is not possible it is impossible and then the other obvious question is how did this large amount of money get into the bank in the first place and it's not being marked in the banking halls this is a safety deposit box too many questions and no answers however for the purposes of this video what really attracted my attention is a political connection oh yes it has been linked to the cabinet of the republic of kenya <laughs> yeah and allegedly there are two cabinet secretaries current serving cabinet secretaries linked yeah to this uh, find of fake currency and we shall dig deeper into that in a minute but maybe the biggest largest most obvious elephant in the room is a very simple question who is capable yeah of having 20 million us dollars in fake currency who who has got that capability because 20 million uh, us dollars yeah in genuine currency that's not a big deal yeah of course it's a big deal but you get what i mean it's possible that people would have that kind of money lying around somewhere but it is highly unlikely yeah in fact it's <laughs> it is so serious and so mind boggling that somebody would have a whole 20 million us dollars in fake currency where were they printed how did they get into the bank if they were printed outside kenya yeah which is the most likely thing how did they get into the country and if they are printed within the country where is this that they're printing the fake uh, currencies and even more telling if indeed these fake currencies were in circulation fake uh, us dollars 100 dollar bill uh, bills which are fake then how come nobody has heard of this scandal i mean would have had uh, bureaus and banks complaining that there are a lot of 100 dollar bills fake bills circulating would have had complaints because 20 million us dollars is not chicken feed yeah so this uh, story of pap 
all of a sudden 20 million US dollars appear somewhere fake currency i i, I is very suspect <laughs>